If you are in any need of prayer or advice, make sure you comment or email. God bless you. Before I get to my main point, let me say this, and then afterward, let me get to my main point. I want to speak about something that I would do, but it is wrong. So let me speak of it. Let me first say, as long as we are on this earth, as long as we are in flesh, as long as demons and Satan can do certain things on this earth, when you interact with other people, there is a large chance that misunderstandings are going to happen. Problems are going to happen. That is normal. I am not saying that you have to accept it. I am not saying that you can't pray about it. What I am saying, it is to be expected. Believing that you are going to interact with someone and everything is going to be perfect, that is, how can I say that? That is childlike thinking. Some type of fairy tale type of thinking. If you don't want any conflicts, you are going to have to wait until you die. <laughs> die and go to heaven. So until then, while you are on this earth, misunderstandings and problems with others are going to happen. So are you telling me that you are going to break up any association or friendship or whatever else with others when you see some type of problem. That is crazy. And that is something I was guilty of myself to a certain extent. Okay, now let me get to my main point now. My main point. <laughs> now we know or should know <laughs> that when people interact, there is a large chance that there are going to be misunderstandings. There are going to be problems. That is normal. It is not always that that person or whatever is trying to do you any harm. It is just a misunderstanding. My point. When you get into a misunderstanding or a problem, stop spreading the news to your close friends, to this person, to that person, this person, that person. Listen, all you are doing is making the problem larger. Now, <laughs> My Lord, now what is going to happen, those other people that you are telling that have no idea what is really going on is going to give you advice based upon what you told them, which the whole thing is a misunderstanding. Now you are receiving different types of advice wrong advice and when you do it that makes the misunderstanding much larger <laughs> please listen to what i am saying please 
Please listen to what I am saying. When you get into a misunderstanding or let's say a problem, stop going to your mama, your dad, your uncle, all these people spreading the bad news to people. Stop that. Stop telling, hey, this person is ignorant. This person walked on my shoe and did not say sorry. Stop going around telling others the bad things or whatever happened between you and another person. Don't do that. Because all you are doing is spreading confusion, spreading strife. basic stuff here now perhaps that problem was this big but now you are getting advice perhaps from sinful people now that problem is like this big now <laughs> a misunderstanding this small now you are getting advice. Let me say this, man. I used to be friends with a guy back in 2006 and seven. And I was really good friends with that person. But now I look back, that guy advised me in some things, in some things, some things, that guy advised me to do some really foolish things. <laughs> some really foolish things. Back in 2006, This one guy told me to do something, and when I did it, it ruined what I had with another person. Like, <laughs> broke it. <laughs> broke it. Listen. And that kind of brings me to my next point, too. Some people don't want good for you. If they see that you have something that they don't have, they may be envious. So they may purposely give you the wrong advice on purpose. I am telling you, this happens. You believe that certain people are your friends, but in truth, they envy you. They want you to fail. You have to listen. If anything, it makes much more sense to speak to the person that you are having problems with not spread all this. Listen, let's say that something bad happened and let's say that three people saw it. If you ask those three people, in some cases, they all are not going to say the same information. Probably certain points, they may say the same information, but the stories are not really going to be the same. They aren't. I 
I am telling you. So in saying that, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> my main point, yes, I lost my train of thought. My main point Stop spreading around the bad things you believe that people are doing to you. Because chances are, it is a misunderstanding. I am telling you, myself, there were issues that I would have with other people. And when I spoke about it with them, Probably 80% or 90% of the time, it is a misunderstanding. 90% of the time, it is a misunderstanding. So you are willing to raise hell and just break things over something that is not what you think it is. Sometimes, listen, yes, sometimes we may go through things in life and that is going to cloud our perception. So we are looking through that misguided, silly, clouded perception and trying to judge a person with that when it is wrong. Because if your perception is off, how can your judgment about that person be right? If I am hurt and I am afraid to be hurt again, let's say that I was married. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that my wife would beat me every day. And after 10 years, now I am not with her. But let's say I want to get married again. Hey. Now, let's say that I have been beat so hard that I am thinking I don't want to get beat anymore. So I don't want to be with any woman that is going to beat me. So perhaps I am going to be extra, what is that word I am looking for? I am going to judge women, I guess you can say extra harsh or be paranoid if I see any quality that how can I say this? I believe you all understand what I am trying to say. I may see women in this bad way believing that, hey, all women want to do is beat on men. So I am judging women with this wrong way of thinking. <laughs> and since my perception is off, if I see anything that goes wrong, I am going to correlate that with she is going to beat me like my ex-wife. Now I am going to make problems because my perception is off and I am paranoid. I pray that this makes sense. So my main point is when there is an issue, a misunderstanding, keep it between you and that person. You and that person. Don't spread it along. Because for many people, or the people that you may speak to, I don't want to sound mean, but if you aren't judging based upon what the Word of God says, you should not be asking sinful people on how to do things right because their perception is wrong. They are telling you 
how to take care of things in a sinful point of view. So, no matter what issue it, it is, they are not going to judge righteously, which is going to make much more problems. If anything, if you are going to spread it along with other people or to other people, it is best to do it along with people that serve God. I pray that this makes sense, but always try to keep it between you and that person, if you can. So if you ask anyone else, make sure that they actually serve God, not sinful people. Let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.